lived here all my life. I've been painting for 40 years, and uh, and it's uh, it's been a good business for me. When I first started painting, I was like, "Geez, I'm I'm pretty good at this. I mean, I could really bang out a house really quick." You know, I was like, and I the first job I did it was like 450 bucks, and I and I I did it in like two days, and I was like, "Man, I just made 250 bucks," and you know, each day, and I was like, "This is I'm I'm doing good." Uh, after after 40 years of doing it, you, you're like, okay, is this all? Oh, this is this it? Is this it? You know, up here on a ladder painting. I've always noticed when I when I peel out a paint bucket, I you know the back of the paint where it, where it sits against the bucket. I've always noticed these really awesome designs, and I'm sitting there going, that is really cool. Never did anything about it. And then my son Max, he he said, Dad, you ought to frame one of those. He kind of talked about it in the past of being like, I want to maybe take some paint and put it in a frame. And I was like, OK, that's kind of weird. But then he, he walked in with the first piece, and I was just kind of blown away. Ivan, Myron, and uh, these are all people that I know. And I thought it was kind of like a one-shot deal. Like I was like, OK, that's kind of a cool thing my dad did. But then he, uh, he just kept making more and more. Enoch is Elijah. This is Gert. That's Sophie right there. So what happened was, is I put this, uh, Max, but he, he's really good at social media, so he put it on Reddit. So I put it on this page called, um, damn, that's interesting. That's the name of the page. And it got like 60,000 upvotes, which is kind of this, you know, it's like a like on Facebook. And then I just started getting, my phone started blowing up with all these notifications and stuff. So I, was, I started selling prints. I just sold a couple in uh, Ireland to a lady. Uh, I don't know how to say her name. It's Cleonda or Cleonada or something like that. I can't, I, it's a weird spelling. <laughs> it's like, Clydna, that's it, Clydna. When I went to post it, I decided to sort of tell the story of how it happened. Like, with, And that's what people reacted to the most. I'll just show you how this, uh, how this kind of works. So every time I, I, I peel a bucket out, I don't always get a good piece. I just, I start the, I start the process right here. And I start peeling it out. So see this one, this one is just regular, regular old paint. Nothing in there. See that? Nothing. Now let's try this one here. Here, and I, what I do with this is I cut the whole bottom of the bucket right out, and I, uh, I just use that. <laughs> so that's kind of the way it starts right there. You know, you get a bunch of residual paint in the bottom, and you, and you keep putting paint in there, and it just. Uh, so these are all non-intentional, non-intentional bucket art. So we've got, okay, we've got a, got a decent one here, I think. So let me just see that. So what we do, so I'll put that down there, and I'll just, so that's not real, see, that's really not that interesting to me. I mean, that's kind of, it's, like, it's kind of bland. Being a bucket artist now, you know, you kind of, <laughs> I get very snobby about it. This is kind of a, a neat, a neat pattern, I think. And I put it over like that. So then, you know, you got over into here, you can do some over here. So on something like this right here, where you got this, these cool patterns right here, I just take a little, a little uh, mat and I kind of frame it. So see, something like that would be, would be a neat piece of bucket art, I think. I got to tell you, I, I've been uh, in recovery for 33 years. I sobered up in 87. And uh, since then, I, you know, I've kind of discovered that it, it's really a path on self-discovery. And you kind of figure out stuff and I've always been kind of, uh, kind of artsy, you know, just really kind of artsy, just, you know, noticing things like in nature and in, and in uh, you know, just in the beauty in these, these awesome, simple things. And, you know, looking at buckets before, I was, like, I was, I was always kind of like, you know, it's just paint in a bucket. It's such a strange sort of um, avenue to take as a house painter because you never think about doing that. I mean, it's just that creating uh, something out of nothing, you know. So that's, and that's to me is, is really, that's what's fun. I've given a lot away, um, just so people can have them in the house. And, so, and you know, I'm, I'm hoping that somebody will walk in and say, what, what the heck is that? And uh, they'll say, I got that from John Ada, who's a bucket artist now. <laughs> it's even funny to say. Like, see, something like that, I'd probably use something like that. That's kind of a neat pattern right there. It's like when people look at it, I've seen a lot of reactions that have been like, oh, like a, an artist just put some paint on a on a canvas and he spent a lot of time doing it and he, he did spend a lot of time doing it but he was painting a house in the meantime main people in general 
are very resourceful. And it's like, you, you, you know, I don't know, I don't know somebody that's not a mainer that would take some old, old paint buckets <laughs> and find some art in them. It's just ridiculous. I think a lot of people feel like they're going to be embarrassed if they do something. You know, they're going to get embarrassed if they try something new. But I think, you know, just go for it. Try if you if you want to try something, give it a shot. It's like some of these things. These this bucket art. You know, you kind of some of them are awful, but some of them are pretty good. You know, so and it's uh, the reward is unbelievable. You know, you get this huge, uh, this great reward for you know, creating something out of nothing that probably would have been thrown out in the dump.